Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. Today we're blasting the mightiest phallus decreation yet again because I am obsessed with this fucking record. I just love it. It's so fucking good. Decreation, 20 bucks spin. Definitely my favorite release from a Sphalix. Vastum neck rock connection. Absolutely crushing. I love this shit. And today, we're gonna be going over some experimental fucking awesomeness in the realm of, uh, I would say ambient doom, but mostly drone, but with like black metal vocals, kind of like Black One by Sun. So if you're a fan of like, you know, that era of Sun, like Black One, especially with like pretty much the who's who of US black metal at the time, vocally, you know, adding their vocals to Sun's performance of just, you know, drony post black metal, which is what that term actually was around 2006 when Black One came out, I think the original actual idea was to help create this like subgenre of like that type of black metal with like, you know, noise, drone, ambience, and all that. And um, I feel like the Bay Area Circle of Eyes really fucking, you know, kind of did what Sun were trying to do with Black One, but with this fucking 2008 release, holy shit, on Antimatter Records, wow, they fucking hit this out of the goddamn park when it comes to that, like, just droney, ambient, fucking crushing, heavy, doom-riddled drone. Circle of Eyes, self-titled, has you fucking covered. This was a gift from James of Transylvanian Tapes and Swamp Witch. He said this was um, his first recording and he does vocals on here. He said he was at a kind of tough time in his life. I did not ask details because it's not my business. But some glorious artwork on here and wait till you see all this insaneness this comes with. Gorgeous artwork as well. Circle Eyes is sick, like, you have three tracks over 37 minutes, along with the download code that also has the demo that makes this 90 fucking minutes of music, and I'll be able to give you the download code, but let's talk about the music and stuff first here. 37 minutes of just straight up devastating sonic nihilism and slow down-tuned riffs along with one of James's most haunted sounding vocal deliveries like it's just really really unsettling like you could tell there's a lot of raw emotion behind every fucking word that he spits like venom it, it's awesome like just the delivery he gives on something that usually probably wouldn't even have vocals which is why I'm comparing this to Sun Black One so much because it's what it really reminded me the most of when I was listening to it like yeah there's some awesome riffs on here and shit but like some of the more like droney stuff that like really kind of you know even turns up in like kind of an ambient level is some of the more interesting sick parts of this album I fucking love it these three tracks are absolutely just crushing and at the same time just very very like eerie and just fucking down tuned as down tuned as it gets and just some amazing stuff here with um Side A has Penua, Penumbrella, Penumbra, I have no idea, I'm sorry, but uh, Awoken and Woe Bedded by the Worms, Dirge for Eternity, To Wander, Sacred Time, K Guitar Amplifiers and Effects, T Guitars Amplifiers, Invocations and Effects, and J Deliverance 
Banishings. Recorded by John Rule with Circle of Eyes at the Foothills Bunkers, Los Altos, California. This was mastered by James uh, Plotkin for uh, vinyl. And uh, the art and shit was by Kevin Gan Young. And he did an absolute gorgeous, magnificent job with the artwork here on Circle of Eyes, self titled. Like this 20, 2008 release, seriously, this is amazing stuff. If you are a fan of experimental music, but in the heavier realms of experimental music, like Doom, Drone, etc., etc., because that's what this is. This is a slab of total amplifier worship, experimentation. There's so much sick shit on here. And here's that note I was talking about. Awesome. It's on the back of this sick cartridge. Uh, cartilage, I mean, uh, flyer. Forgot about this, but... Alright, this kind of sums up some of this record for you guys. But, uh, Schnell, you fucking rule. Thanks for existing. This package is two that I am sending your way. I, well, I'm gonna get to the... Circle of Eyes was the first record that I got to be on that was professionally pressed. The band will continue to lie in the shadows as we all shifted focus on other bands. Mine were Swamp Wish, Kaffa, Kaffa and Your Enemy, and the other guys began destroying it in black fucking cancer. Hell yeah. It was such a fucked up place mentally for me when this album was captured. It's such... A truly painful listen for me because I can only fixate on the pain I was experiencing that fueled this performance. And it goes to show on Circle of Eyes self titled James's vocals on here, oh my god, like I was saying, they just sound extremely haunted, great, and especially with, you know, Fucking when it comes to like just atmospheric drone you don't really expect some really emotionally driven lyrics so getting to hear them it's fucking great and just wow grab that download code press pause and snag it it's fucking just sick and it comes with this amazing poster as well with some bonus artwork which is just Absolutely magnificent. I don't, I have candles lit. I don't want to accidentally light this on fire. But glorious, glorious artwork in here. And uh, there's 325 copies on vinyl. I have orange. And looks great, plays great. What a fucking beast. Like, I love James. He's the, he's the man. Transylvania Tapes is the shit. But this is before Transylvania Tapes. This is Animatter Records here. And this is a great fucking release. And this is their first release as well. But, um, there's still copies of this vinyl available on their Bandcamp page. So, I highly, highly suggest... If you're a fan of ambient music, drone, doom, anything like, if you like your doom metal challenging pretty much, yeah, this has your name written all over it. Circle of Eyes, fucking kill it. I apologize for fucking up with the song titles, but like, I kind of like how there's, you know, they have two separate titles, like, the way it flows together, like, track one's Awoken, then track two is Dirge for Eternity, while track three is Sacred Time. That's awesome that they have two titles each. And there's only thing is, uh, I don't think James included lyrics. But this is so fucking dope, like this heart here, and everything just with like the runes and everything, and how it's on the artwork on the actual vinyl. It's just fucking amazing stuff. Great fucking vinyl layout. Great color. And it sounds amazing. This is so fucking heavy. It makes my house shake. 
any of my albums that make my house shake put a smile on my fucking face. I can't thank James enough, seriously. He's just really hooked it up with these last two packages. But even the fucking, the packaging for the vinyl is just heavy. Very, very heavy duty stuff here. And like I said, if you, you know, have an open mind about extreme music, Circle of Eyes, self-titled from 2008 on Antimatter Records, has your name written all over it. If you're a fan of the body, sun, like just experimental music in general, like swans even, like if you just have an open mind, you're gonna love this. Like don't go into this expecting the most crushing doom ever. Go into this expecting something different, heavy, special, and definitely something that's going to stick with you and your subconscious. It, it's a strange album, but I fucking love it. I, I just think it's totally just something that really, really sonically is kind of like a milestone when it comes to the genre, I feel. And this is just kind of one of those albums that I've never even heard of until James sent this over, and it's like, why? And then I was like, ah, I'm not really the biggest, you know, drone guy. I love Earth 2, I love Sun Black 1, and I love... I love the Grim Rogue demos and a couple other droney bands and stuff, but now I'm going to add Circle of Eyes to that list because they won me over with their self-titled here. And if you download this, you also get their demo, which equals up to 90 minutes of just some fucking complete nihilistic drone. It's great. Seriously, if you dig experimentation with your metal and you don't mind some like riffs that just kind of drag on and just add atmosphere and all that, you know. Circle eyes have your name written all over it if that's your fucking cup of tea. And even if it's not, it's worth your fucking time. Just based on its eerie atmosphere, awesome vocal delivery, and just overall crushingness. You're gonna find something to like about this, but if not, I don't know what to tell you. Drone and ambient and just experimental music is just that. It's experimental and not everybody's gonna like it, but th this has enough doom and stuff on it that you're gonna love this probably if you're just a fan of all things fucking slow, heavy, and just, ah, oh, One of those albums that, you know, you could play in the background, still get a nice headbang going, but at the same time, like, just feel something emotionally and also probably have to turn your volume down even though maximum volume does yield maximum results circle of eyes is fucking mastered for vinyl so you don't really have to worry about you know when you hit some of those certain notes that just sound like straight up vibrations like you actually can hear the riffs on here it's mixed very very well just a great great release but when they want you to hear those giant, like, bomb drops of drone, they do it, and they do it so fucking well and fuzzy and just the way it's meant to be. If you're a fan of ambient music, drone, and just like having your mind expanded, drop out of life, buy the ticket, take the ride, and listen to Circle of Eyes self-titled. It's fucking great. On Addy Antimatter Records, and yeah. The self-titled by Circle of Eyes is fucking pure fire. So press pause, download that, and open your mind and enjoy the fuck out of this release. Killer shit from the bay. These guys are also in Swamp Witch, Black, Can Black fucking Cancer. Yeah, awesome stuff post Circle of Eyes, even though they still might have some more tunes in them. It's all up to the members, but 
we've been blasting as phallic's decreation because it fucking rules on 20 bucks spin records and you guys rule too thanks for watching Ooh.